In this video, students from Mohawk College, McMaster University, and Six Nations Polytechnic share their personal journeys into student life. They speak about engaging with Indigenous cultural activities, the importance of community, and the support systems in place to help new students. They also discuss mental health, Indigenous identity, and the benefits of asking for help. I think that learning our language is, um, is really, really important. It's really vital to who we are as Ongwehongwe people. Our wellness is holistic. It encompasses everything. It encompasses our language, our culture, um, our health and well-being, our scano, um, scano sanotonio, our, our inner peace, our ganinquio, having a good mind, all of those things encompass our wellness and who we are. When I wake up in the morning, I try to get up with the sun, and the first thing that I say is, um, it just means that I am thankful I'm alive. When I say it in the language, I feel that I'm connected, you know, thousands of years to my ancestors talking, and it brings it forward and putting my mind forward to that every single day is really helpful, like having gratitude and thankfulness. September 30th is coming up and we do know that legacy of residential schools, we lost a lot. We lost our languages, we lost our familial ties, you know, our culture was, um, was taken away from a whole generation of, of children. My grandmother was one of them. And the generation before us, I feel there was a gap. There was no um, intergenerational transfer of knowledge or language. My twins, they're three. Um, so we try and teach them as much language as possible. As much as I know, I try and talk with them because I think that that's the way that we're going to continue the language is, is through our families. Um, as adult learners, it's really important for us to learn and go home and teach our families and talk to our kids. It's something that... It's like a, something within us inherent that we know that we need, um, and it's important to pass on to our children. I grew up on Six Nations Reserve. I'm a Turtle Clan woman. I had um, a lovely grandmother who made my regalia and I traveled around and I danced in powwows and then I kind of lost my way, I think. I moved off of reserve, I lived in the city. I kind of was just like done with it. I didn't really want anything to do with it. Now I feel like because of spaces like this, I've been able to find my way back to my myself and my culture. And that's benefited not only me, but my entire family. It's been a journey since I started. I moved away from home, so I just wanted to get out into the world and see what's out there and meet new people, have different experiences and keep going. I learned a lot about the kids in my community. Not all of them come from the best circumstances. A lot of them don't succeed in school because they have other stuff going on in their personal lives. I found that I could attain jobs in my own community to help the kids in my community. And I'm really proud to be able to do that. Reach out and ask questions. Don't be afraid. 
there's always help there for you. You just have to be the one to reach out. I think for the most part, students are very accepting. They want to learn more. They understand the systemic issues that accompany practicing Indigenous cultures and colonized spaces. Something I appreciate and like um, when comparing to like my hometown is like the level of curiosity um, that comes with non-Indigenous students. I've had people ask me questions that I might not even know myself, but I can like refer them to someone or they just want to be able to be self-aware and like spread like a positive message to like um, people in their community as well. So they'll try to come to me for more um, knowledge or information, which I appreciate. You can't do this by yourself. And that's why we have so many people around the university and resources that you can utilize and really reach out to them. You will have a 100% better time if you have supports and they are there for you. You just have to reach out and utilize them. I really don't have understanding of my clan and my my uh, my heritage in that way, um, a little bit here and there. So as far as I know, I'm Jamie Johns. From where I am now, Six Nations, my my family, and uh, we're we're still learning. You could sit there and just observe and and watch the culture and watch it move around you, you know. And at that very same time. Uh, you could be watching it disappear. It doesn't matter if you know very little about your heritage. It doesn't matter. Your spirit knows.